My name is Rick Rushing. I'm a musician and a teaching artist. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. I've been playing the guitar since about 2001 when I moved to Chattanooga. I started playing guitar late for most guitar players. I was around 23 and my guitar teacher said, you gotta work hard. He said, lesson one is a lazy man can't play the guitar, Rick. So I practice hour after hour every day and it paid off. I didn't get my first paid gig until I was around 25 or 26. A gig is a performance in which you get paid for. After that first good gig, people start talking about you, you start building momentum, and you start building up your songs, your repertoire, and your fan base, and that's where you get the push of your crowd and the people who enjoy your music. So it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a while before you start getting paid to gig. So don't be frustrated. Just keep adding to your set list. Keep adding songs. Keep building up your repertoire. I started off with the electric guitar because the strings are a little bit easier to play on an electric guitar than an acoustic guitar. The electric guitar lends itself more to the blues because of the bends and the vibrato and the being able to make it sound like a singer. The blues to me is a feeling and how you're feeling in that moment and it's never gonna be perfect. It's gonna be how you interpret it. The blues gives you a voice. The blues gives you a chance to vocalize your problems and to solve your problems as well through music. So the blues are healing because they help you to analyze what you're going through or situations and allow you to tell stories. My process for songwriting is a lot of times something comes into my head, a title and or a melody, and then I write it down. And then I have a lot of music already that I've recorded. So I try to figure out kind of what's melody fits with those type of lyrics and words. And then I try to mesh those together as much as I can in the right key. Something that's funky, something that's good, something that's original. I felt it was very important that I also used my musical skills to educate and teach children. I love coming to the Creative Discovery Museum as an artist in residence here because you never know who you're gonna meet. It's always gonna be fun. I'd walk around with my guitar or my banjo and ask them if they'd like to hear certain songs. It's important for me to do what I can to expose the children to their possibilities of having music in their lives forever. And the earlier they start, the earlier the parents can notice that this is bringing a quality to their life, so it's important that they follow up with that, allow these children to express themselves through music. If you want to play guitar, learn how to play the blues because it's an easier way to learn the chords on the guitar. It's an easier way to learn how to play scales on a guitar, and it's an easy way to learn songs. You're never too old to learn. I've been playing for 20 years, and now I can hear a song, and I can say, I want to learn that, and I can play it back, and I can pick it up, and I can learn it, and I can teach the band. And that's the biggest gift of music, is I get to recreate all the music I've loved as a child, as an adult, and the audience gets to hear it, and they get to applaud in the songs, hopefully. <laughs>